What's up everyone, Brian Phobos here, back for another video about Electronium. Today we're gonna to talk about why I bought more Electronium and the fact that it's on the front page of CoinMarketCap again, which is great news. So, I noticed it was back up here just today and they adjust the supply and it's basically hanging around 7.2 cents. It seems to have kind of like leveled out here and um, but this has visibility guys you know people check on their favorite coins if you fall to the second page third page or whatever it's been like it's like being on the second page of google or something you got to be on the front page so we're back there great news even if we revisit the highs you know 12 13 cents whatever that's really going to move this whole situation up here and it make it even more visible so you get you start playing in the big leagues you know, that's going to be great. So I was looking at the charts, really putting stuff into perspective. So yesterday I came out with a video talking about the mobile app and kind of giving my initial impression of that. And then was saying like what my game plan was based on what was going on with the app because it wasn't working properly. And I was really looking for buy points really under about four cents. And it never really got, it never got down there. And then it seems to have kind of like leveled off. I was really thinking about this relative to Bitcoin and where, where it was now and where I purchased. Because if you're just tuning in, I never participated in the ICO. I found out about Electronium around here, started mining it, and then I started buy points because I wanted to get to 100,000 Electronium. And obviously, we didn't know how low this was going to go or anything, but I ended up buying in this low, which I kind of got lucky there. Then I bought right here. That worked out well. And then I did a small buy up here. And then I ended up selling out my original holdings. I had $650 invested. I basically sold out $800 worth up here. So I took all my skin out of the game. I was just riding on icing at that point. You know, came down, went all around. And then, um, you know, and then I was, I didn't want to sell all my coins, even knowing that, okay, it may dump. And that's probably a logical thing. Like people are going to be upset that there's been this delay. It could dump, but I didn't want to take that risk because I was like, what if the app comes out and it's super badass and then this thing just shoots. So I was like, you know, I can't be taking a risk. So anyway, we did have the dump, had server issues, all kinds of stuff. And now it seems to have leveled out and it didn't go as low as maybe some of us anticipated. And there's huge volume, obviously, from both directions, like sellers and buyers, now that the app's out. So, um, but just relative to Bitcoin and where I bought before and all that kind of stuff, I did the math. Basically, I did my buy points and got up to thirty over 30,000 coins. Now... I basically have 1,233 invested in it and I'm up, if I sold all these coins right now, I would be up $867 and I calculated it out and I basically, my cost average is about 4.1 cents per coin if you compare it to US dollars. So not as good as the people in the ICO, but not bad all things considered and where the price point is now and the fact that we're on the first page of coin market cap. But again, I'm mining and you know, I'm mining and I'm buying these coins for not tomorrow, not next week, not a month from now, you know, six months, a year, two years from now, that's really what I'm doing this. And if you continue to, you know, if the project goes great, the marketing goes great, they can sustain themselves for a long time marketing with tens of millions of dollars. Just think if they raised 40 million at when Bitcoin was worth, you know, 5,500 and then they, you know, it more than doubled, way more than doubled. So, you know, they could basically sustain themselves on the marketing for a long time. I mean, years potentially, obviously they're going to pay themselves quite a bit. But um, all things said, if the marketing goes across great and all that stuff like that, I think that there is a good chance that it could take off and then just really rise up to the ranks here and, um, you know, gain more and more visibility. So one of the other main reasons that I bought in and decided to do this buy at a higher price point than I was initially wanting to do was yesterday I did a video of 
in Electronium Mobile Wallet first look, relaunch failure and second dump coming question mark is a question, you know, do we consider this a relaunch failure because the thing was not working? You can see here I try to import a paper wallet. This was the first wallet I mined to. It was 28 Electronium, I tried to import it, it failed. When I first downloaded the app, the whole thing was white. You couldn't even bring it up. I had a friend do the same thing, same thing happened to him. It just wasn't working, you know, and then obviously people, some people are upset and all that. And, you know, at the time I'm doing the review and I finally got this, it was not connecting to the blockchain. And that's what I was saying in the video. I was like, hey, it's not, this app is not connecting to the blockchain. And, um, you know, and then I was showing, you know, blockchain is still running. You know, it's just this app is not connecting to it. So anyway... But people, people didn't really like the video. They, the people that watched it didn't really want to thumbs up it and didn't want to admit that, okay, well, what he's saying is just the truth. It's not really working like we would want it to. And then, you know, I had some down votes and stuff. And if you look at any of my other Electronium videos, there's this overwhelming support, like thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up kind of thing. And you'll see that on a lot of videos. If they say something positive about Electronium, everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's going to $100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was a big thing. It really reconfirmed, you know, and when you, when you look at it, the people were coming out and basically anything the Electronium team says, you know, they just, they just, you know, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what's said. And that's what's happening. And everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So it's just that cult like following. Like I said, in the very first video I did, I have never seen a community in the crypto space this compelled or this um i don't know like almost evangelical like just this um they're convicted to be like yeah electronium 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 and um <laughs> i mean i think it's awesome but it's kind of crazy at the same point it's almost like it's like Apple iPhone users, and I have an iPhone, I also have an Android. So obviously this is my Android, but it's not, it's not on the network, no service, airplane mode. Um, so my, I do have an Apple, but anyway, I'm not like, I'm not a Mac head, as we call them, or like kind of these iPhone people that are just all about the iPhone, they think it's like superior to an Android for some reason, I don't know. So obviously they're both great phones, you know, they both have unique interfaces, whatever. But um, anyway, I just see that same cult-like following that I see with the Apple community or you see it with different brands. And um, I've never seen that so strong in the crypto community. If I do any review of any other coin, like I did this review of Komodo, and a great review, Komodo's going up. You know, it's got a lot of good things about it, but you see the views are way down. You know, the you just don't get as much traction on these videos. IOTA did one on IOTA, which is fairly decent, but you know, that one got a thousand views. That was decent. Um, but if I do other videos, you know, this one on salt, actually the salt members, the people who have invested in salt hate me, <laughs> 10 down votes. But um, it's funny, it's like, you don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, eh, I kinda, I'm, I'm pretty technical. I'm you know, putting up some decent arguments here. I, I kinda know what I'm doing here. Uh, but you know, you get these people that just joined the crypto community two months ago and they're gurus and experts. So anyway, take it for what it is. But the main three reasons that I bought in even more and got to this 30,000 point is basically relative to Bitcoin, it was not that much higher than basically what I paid before and what the lows were. So I just kind of accounted for that and I didn't want it to run away. All it would take is a few whales, you know, to pump this up like pretty hard and it would run away. The price would run away from me and then I would have regret that I didn't maybe take action. And then the fact that it, a big thing was the first, fact that it got on the first page of coin market cap and then 
also the cult following of people just coming out in droves to defend anything the Electronium team does. They can do no wrong. So hopefully they can use those tens of millions of dollars for effective marketing and everything. Obviously they had very effective marketing during the ICO. I never saw any of their marketing, but whatever they did, it really, really, really struck a chord with people. And that is one of the biggest reasons I'm invested because if, if they are that passionate about it and they're telling all their friends and all their family and the mobile apps up and their coins are on their phone and they're super excited about it. I just, I think that it has a good chance, you know, to really climb these ranks and hopefully, obviously we all kind of think of that price point of a dollar. I, I think, and I've, I've said that before in my videos that every time I transfer these from like, if I do these transfers, it, it charges you 10 coins from Cryptopia on these bigger, um, you know, on these bigger transactions. And it ticks me off because I already think about the coin of being like worth a buck. Just mentally, I just kind of think of it being worth a buck and be like, oh, it's a rip off. Uh, even though, you know, that's not, that's not really that much right now, but so I'm sending on to keeping this in here and hopefully any kind of connection issues just so the transaction system is currently under heavy load. It might experience some delays. One realization I made with this is kind of like with Bitcoin and Litecoin wallets, the private keys are generated and maintained on the device. But with this system, the private keys are obviously not generated on here. It's just connecting to their server where they're housing the private keys for your account. So it's a little bit different mechanism, I'm not saying that it can't work and that if they get the server issues you know, figured out that this stuff will all happen in a more timely fashion. But obviously you see the Electronium got in there from the paper wallet that I originally mined to. I'm not really gonna use this app that much for now. That's not really where I'm gonna house my coins. I'm gonna house my coins here, but Anyway, I've got a bigger position, not as big as some people. I've seen people with 200,000 coins and I, there was someone claiming they have over a million coins and I'm sure there are. So good luck to everybody on their investment. That was my strategy. Hopefully you guys kind of understand my thinking on where I bought, where I sold some out, take my skin out of the game, let this drama kind of play out and then why I bought back in and where I'm riding and what my kind of outlook is for the future. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions. Follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos. Please subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Steam it, YouTube, at Brian Phobos. See you guys later.